Let me get some Fremo gems. Yay, five fucking boys. Welcome back to Gator Sniper playthrough of Genshin Impact, where uh, I'm really only doing these quest lines so I can get more Primo gems to fucking summon Arataki Ito. Please, I want him so bad. Even though it's like with all my other Inazuman characters, I can't do anything with them, but I still want them. Uh, at least I have um, I have an interesting enough roster to start building off Kokomi. Heck yeah, she'll be very good. I forgot I had Kaza on this account. <laughs> Although I really want to build Sayu more, because she's goofy. Uh, and Goro is interesting too. I'll probably do Goro over Kujasara, just because he's newer, but I still would like to build Kujasara as well. Oh my god, but as soon as I get to Inazuma, that's also the thing of like, I'm gonna have to unlock so many fucking things. All of the fucking waypoints, the quests that I have to do to open other fucking areas, like domains. I have to go underground slash underwater. I have to go to the two fucking extra islands. No, the th three extra islands they made. Watatsumi, Seire, uh, Surumi? I think Surumi was the most recent one. Do all those quest lines. Oh my god. At least at that point, once I get there, I'll finally have been catched, uh, caught up. Yeah, I know, fucking English, Jesus. Uh, I'll, there's also, wait, hold on, let me look around here. My friend said he had trouble with this part because all the robots were still here and they beat him down trying to do the tournament. The robots partook in the tournament. But uh, I was gonna say, uh, dude, I don't think it was really unnecessary, Pinewood. But by the time I actually finish, like, with the let's play of getting through Inazuma, I bet I'll actually be like, Sumeru will f be out at that point. I'm excited for that. Hey, Uncle Dunn, what was it? Uh -huh. Am I really gonna waste like 15 minutes talking to these guys, Uncle Yun? Uh, we're just taking a look around. Uh huh. And you, you look like anyone. You literally just look like a blank NPC. Although, like, I don't know. I guess he, <laughs> he, he looks different enough. I don't know. Nobody wants to see that, right? At least you have your muscles going for you. Yeah. What's your, what's your deal again? Me. Uh, she who rock freestyle rock combat. Freestyle also, combat former. Oh, yeah. And runner up. These are all terrible. They really have a hard time getting people to take part in these events. It really kind of is like a. It's a discredit to the game where it's like. They're literally making it sound like these. Like for these cool events that, like, nobody is wanting to do them. I don't know, it's like when you when you write in a game like, oh yeah, this is a Crux Clash, it's like got the fucking After Effects and everything, fires exploding everywhere, it's like, we only accept the strongest people to fight each other, and then it's like this guy's like, hey, yeah, I'm a former runner-up, uh, and yeah, we've got like four other contestants. It's, it's just sad. <laughs> it makes you feel bad. Uh-huh. Have you been living under a rock? Yeah, honestly, no, I've never fucking... I've, I've been living under Chihu Rock, to be precise, and I've never heard of this event. Where even is Chihu Rock? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, that's better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this guy doesn't seem like he's terrible. Uh-huh. Oh uh, yeah, what'd you do about the knife? Uh-huh. I mean, unless he's just making this all up, he seems alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right, and then he's like, Pooh, what did you do? And I'm like, yeah, I fought hordes of Fatui by myself. Uh-huh. I mean, he's, I guess, above average. Maybe not above average in this fucking universe of visions and whatnot, but, you know, not bad. Paimon, don't break this man's fucking spirit. <laughs> actually, no, wait. Yeah, break their spirits. I'll make fighting e in the tournament so much easier. Uh, I guess we didn't actually fucking say it. <laughs> he just goes, like, really sexist about it. It's like, I don't plan on losing to a woman. It's like, Beto comes over and fucking kicks him in the dick. Alright, let's talk. No, you know what? I talked to them in that order last time. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, but I hate this guy. Alright, Gino. He's just a fucking rich kid loser. I don't want to bother fucking listening. Uh, he's also like a fucking Shunibio. Just like a young kid that's like too fucking like rich and bored. He's like, yeah, I'm going to pick an adversary for my martial arts. Uh -huh. no, no, no. Uh, why did you get up all of us? Okay, he's back up. He like tripped trying to stand up. A perfect person, huh? Uh huh. I've passed every exam I've ever taken. Enjoyed numerous successful business ventures. Wow, you're just asking to be punched in, in the face. Eyes, I am mm -hmm. already 
the very embodiment of what's the thing he's missing oh, okay that's the thing he's been missing honestly you'd think that i mean so if the criteria is that the local archons have to actually agree that this person deserves a vision then no he's never going to get it but i mean he has like a strong desire maybe although is it strong enough to say he wants to keep trying when he gets punched in the face That's repeatedly let's find out I have a contact in the uh -huh. fleet who was happy to vouch for me oh so they very you are just coasting on everyone else's coattails uh -huh. is it it's just that one guy or is it also the old so dude and the lady in my oh of course I also put in oh yeah, a few days practice. practice. Uh huh. Concentrating mostly on oh the yeah, rare and the rare and esoteric, esoteric types are always the best as ones. A high by nature. I feel I'm like that's a fucking mistake people make in general too, where they're like, the, obviously the best martial arts style to learn is the one that like no one's heard of. And it's like, I don't know, like don't knock on like I don't know Krav Maga. Like you can just fucking break somebody's <laughs> face. It's easy. Uh, do I get? I do get to yeah, fight this guy. I'm pretty sure. Judge. I want to enjoy punching yeah, him in the face with a sword. <laughs> Am I really allowed to use a sword in this event? Seems unfair. Like, everyone else is, like, using their bare fists, and I'm just fucking stabbing them with a rusty fucking knife. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's talk to the two twins, or I guess we're just fellow students. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we are strong martial artists. Uh huh. Yes, right. they are. Nothing beats real life combat for honing your skill. See, these guys That's seem like these guys are like just fucking honest kids, I guess. But their master is like a fucking scumbag, from what I remember. I think I don't think I ever record an episode in that area. But there's a place you can walk through in the Karst area. What is it, Julian Karst? Yeah, Julian Karst. Um, and you just see like an old dude and some stupid idiot like shouting like a oh, machine gun bullet fist and he's but if you talk to the teacher he's like you can become my student if you give me five thousand mora per day he's the founder of the ling shan clan is there even a ling shan clan yeah ling shan clan uh you probably wouldn't have heard oh yeah it's recent that's why Mm -hmm. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master. Okay, himself. say the master's name, and I'll see if I've heard of it. Got to be a grand master or uh -huh. something. He's created many different styles of kung fu, hmm. and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. What does, what is the evidence behind other clans borrowing from him? Because there could be something there, or he the could just be lying clan, to you. He teaches a special technique uh -huh. known as force dispersal. Like the idea sounds really cool. Force dispersal. Yeah. It's a type of breathing exercise. I don't know why it's a breathing exercise, but alright. Oh, for, yeah, to to harness the energy, of course. Like, there's a physics aspect that would be an interesting idea, where it's like, I mean, it's called force dispersal. So it's like, say someone hits you in the fucking nose, and I guess in like a manga or anime like style thing, this wouldn't work in real life, by the way, this is just fucking dicking around. But so like the idea I imagine is like you punch someone in the face and then they do some bullshit where it just gets dispersed over their entire body. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, but this one's talking about like moving fists and fucking rocks out of the way. It's like I don't know why it's called force dispersal. We'll call it like force move to the side. You know, someone punches you, move it to the side. You know, that's a pretty apt name. Dispersal is like I don't know. Actually, no. You know what? Force dispersal reminds me of from Baki, the old dude, uh, the Emperor, Sea Emperor Kao Kai, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, he does uh, like this. What I'm imagining here, he just gets punched in the face and goes flying. It's like the whole idea of you know, if you're perfectly limp, you won't get hurt. <laughs> then people try and they fucking die. Or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. Uh huh. If we don't start making progress soon. Yeah, you know the whole part about running out of. Money for tuition, tuition fees, fees probably where you should realize this is a scam. Yeah, how much is it again? This is a grand uh -huh. master we're talking about. I think a real grand master would just be like, you know, if I think you're worth it, I'll teach you for free. All you gotta do is like cook rice or something. But here we are. And they're not mentioning how much money they're paying. Mm-hmm. Master is getting I'm pretty sure this is the guy in the Julian Cars <laughs> Forest. We heard that a vision bearer joined the goof. Oh yeah. He's in my party. I wish I could fight in this event with someone besides a traveler. So if we can get our hands I could have a uh, fucking uh, Shinsu fight in here and it'd look cool. Uh, vision will make you better at martial arts, you loser. 
Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Yeah, wouldn't a vision already kind of like exactly. disqualify you, I guess, from the and whole aspect of what work, martial arts is trying to go, go for? Because, you know, martial arts are first like a weak person to fight a strong person, but if you have a vision, then it's like, I'm gonna throw a fucking big ass rock at you, well, or a fireball. You know, Heck, seems like cheating. <laughs> Heck. Uh huh. I uh, can't fault you for trying. Oh, yeah. I will fucking destroy you. I don't even have to throw rocks. Alright, Beidou. Oh, you're not Beidou. Hmm. I want to. Oh, is that it? Oh, look at it. It's so blank. <laughs> so cool. Where's the. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they are all different, like, shapes in general. What's, uh, Rosaria's look like? Where's hers? Oh, it's on her butt. Uh, oh, I wonder. So. May oh, okay, that has little wings, so maybe it's like a, a Mondstadt thing. Actually, wait, I have the per Hold on, what's, uh... Yeah, so if you're from Mondstadt, it has like the little wings. If you're from Liyue, where's hers? Oh, there it is. Liyue is like the diamond. Yeah, I never noticed that before. Wow, little fucking details. This game does great with that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, remember when Beidou was telling us that you shouldn't be letting amateurs in? What's your name? Uh, a traveler. I what? kill dragons. Uh, aren't you? Yeah, the oh, person that. Did oh. I, hear that right? I wish, as a quest line, they were just like, all the other people just fucking <laughs> left. They're like, oh no, that person's too strong. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm not doing this anymore. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it was very early on to be fighting an ancient god. Yeah, I feel cool. I mean, that was less impressive than fighting an ancient god, but alright. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah, I don't have one. Yeah, like, it's still unfair. This is like fucking Superman deciding to join Mortal Kombat, and it's like, uh, okay, you know, like... Well, I guess Mortal Kombat's actually a bad example because there's already a bunch of super-powered people there. But, you know, same idea. It's like, this person is, like, way too fucking strong to be allowed in this tournament. My apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure you know, I think it'd be easy enough to hide a vision, but all right. Now, could I ask you to provide a few... Why do I have to do it? Everyone already knows them. Uh -huh. But I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. Yeah, put me right next to the uh, the arm wrestling guy. Uh, I've killed an ancient god. Yeah, I defeated a harbinger and killed a dragon. I wish this was like in Jade Empire. Uh, wait, was that what it's called? Oh, I hate their smug smiles to each other. But um, yeah, it's called Jade Empire. I think. I wish you could pick your name for the uh, for the event. That was fun. Yeah, get the okay, fuck out of this fight. Um, that's plenty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Actually, this is the most dazzling. I don't know. That arm seen. wrestling guy has a lot of potential. Right. Can I fight him first? <laughs> Watch, he actually is like fucking Only stupidly strong. Mm -hmm. To win the tournament. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm bothering fighting for a vision. A vision. I oh no wait, I'm not fighting for the vision. That's right. They even talked about it. They're just wanting the f yeah. They just want yep. They're literally right here. Yeah, we're just gonna like hold on to the vision and not do anything with it. <sighs> well, they wouldn't want it. No one else wants it. Uh, and yet, I'm the only one. No, I guess everyone else is a vision wielder. That's right. Because uh, I don't know, it's cool. You get like one free ride. Uh, I'm just not interested in the vision. Yeah. I just told you my reason. Don't question me. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, I know, don't use it. I would be disqualified immediately for using one, Paimon. Because then they'd be like, well, we, hey, they don't have a vision, but they still throw a rock at my face. Disqualify them, please. Uh huh. Oh, fucking so easily. Could. It's like. So the treasure hoarders that throw, like, the vials of elemental goo at people, are they allowed? Because, like, you know. They don't have a vision, but can they throw a vial of elemental goo? Or am I right in my thinking of, like, you know, that's still cheating for, like, the general rules of this fucking tournament? Someone's gonna be, like, looking at a loophole. Oh, wow. We're, oh, and we are starting with this asshole. 
favorite to uh -huh. win this tournament. Oh yeah, me. Her yeah, I thought you were talking about this guy. Now. Okay. Hey, what do you do, by the way? Do you like? You? Uh huh. You're the hero they're talking Does, about. He's, is he not gonna do anything? Hey, buddy, come on. Oh, oh there he goes. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna fuck with him. Just slap him on the fucking knees. Yeah, I have a sword, by the way. That should be counted as cheating as well. Like, really, this is just unfair. <laughs> just gonna bully this guy and <laughs> knock him down constantly. No, no, no. Yeah, get up again. Try to kick me. Come on. Ooh, oh, you were so close that time. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Right in your face. All right. Fuck you. Get out of here. Ah, what a terrible fucking person I am. I don't know. Here, let's fucking show them one of these. <laughs> that should make them all fucking quit. Uh huh. Okay, I was about to ask if the fucking magical barrier was gonna disappear. Where is Bay? Oh, yeah, she's right there. Did you watch me win, Beto? Yeah, you fucking just murdered that guy. Why do we let swords be allowed in this? You think it'd also be a thing of like. You could use swords, but only if the other person you were paired with was used. Like, there'd be, like, a weapons bracket and then a fist bracket. And they're all, like, they're separate tournaments, so, you, you know. Think, Kazuha? So you don't just fucking stab somebody who's using their fists. Although I guess if that's the idea of, like, this is cool martial arts stuff. Yeah, you could, I guess, deflect a blade. Uh-huh. Did I? As if to protect the opponent from uh, I don't think you were paying attention. I think you're looking at a flower I petal in the wind. Oh yeah. She put on just now. She's more than convinced. One hundred percent. I just fucking killed him, man. <laughs> oh come on. We all uh, know you've got a I wonder what that guy's there. gonna do now that he's like just got fucking shat on in front of champion? everybody. Is he just gonna be like, I don't, I never want right. to pursue perfection again? All his entourage is like, what a loser. Uh huh. Is it gonna be a poem? Oh, <laughs> I like that. And he's like deadpan, like no expression too. It's like, uh, you you cheated. Right, I was thinking your inner no, it's okay. We don't need it. Fun, but I guess I shouldn't. Uh, you it's nice that I have Kazo in my party too. Now I can imagine that he decided to join you with know, me for the rest of the of fucking story in Inazuma. Except then he shows up in the middle of it, and being like, "I've decided to help you." And it's just really awkward. That's why we'll use Sayu instead. Many others do the same, mm -hmm. with more than a few top-tier fighters among yeah. them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. N not at all. Like they're just gonna. There's one person. There's one person <laughs> well, that is like a non-vision user, and he's actually impressive. Where it's like, well, not when you actually fight him. He's really fucking easy to beat because they all are. But uh, yeah, no, there's someone that's like a uh, actual good fighter. That's like, oh, that's cool. Because it like he even says like, yeah, I beat up vision users before. It's like, yeah, we need more characters like that. Give me more like badass non-vision users. Honestly, fucking make make that a um a fucking new archetype, I guess. A new quote unquote element. No visions. Honestly, yeah. This is how Captain Beto works. You I think you just didn't want a longer form tournament Besides, thing going on. Your level, you would have made it to the yeah, that's true. Anyway. Yeah, just skip me to the end. Fuck the seed. <laughs> to be fair, mm -hmm. I'm always thinking that too. Yeah, I didn't want to fucking watch the Traveler just right, decimate a bunch of weaklings. Of the there's any potential contenders for I, you out there. I want to know who they are and what they're about. I want to say, like, why do they even bother making that a whole thing where it's like, oh, yeah, you fought in the first round. We're going to skip you straight to the semifinals. Why not just well, have a smaller here, bracket? I don't know. Where it's just like, okay, you did it. There's only five people in the tournament anyways. Maybe the idea they want to imply that there are a lot more people are taking part in this tournament than there actually are, which is also sad. Because we only talked to like three of them. Many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. Is this the guy that like already snuck off? But this should not give you cause. I haven't forgotten we're here, Kazuha. Should do hiccup. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. Easy. All right, that's enough chit chat Maybe for now. Is this... The audience is waiting. Uh huh. Is this the guy that I'm like respecting mentally, or is this the guy that stole the, the, the thingy? Uh, the box is closed, so maybe it has been stolen. Hey, Zhuhan. Oh, Zhuhan. Is new to the Crux Clash, mm -hmm. but he has quickly become uh -huh. the dark horse of the tournament. This is the thief, I'm pretty sure. I would suggest that I'm not even gonna listen to you. I've got this shit. Hell yeah. I'm getting a few butterflies over here. It just barfs. So, uh, I'm so nervous. Is that? Oh, oh, I actually have to. Oh, 
Oh, this guy. Wait, we didn't even talk to him? Hey, this is unfair, he's moving. Whoa, he's trying to punch me. Hey, stop that shit. Oh, that's why he's so fucking powerful. He's got, like, fucking super tanky defenses. I'm just here to fight. Oh, actually, how much damage does he do? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Alright, well, we gave him a fair shot. Okay, you know, no, no, please. I want to see. Just hit me. Just hit me. Okay, I guess it's better than nothing. We're, this is a, so WWE right now. Like, we're just fucking... We're just dicking around with each other here. But yeah, no, this is the guy. This is the guy that's like, oh yeah, good for him. He can actually fight vision users. I'm actually trying to avoid the hits and I'm getting hit constantly. There we go. Just move out of his range. That's it. He only has two moves. A left straight and a right hook. It was pretty easy after that. Uh -huh. all over. Yeah, this guy's like a fucking... This is the type of person that would grow up to be a war hero. Like, look at him. He's For one, he's gigantic. And for two, he beats some vision wheelers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, next year you'll actually be the fair champion of this tournament. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. Uh-huh. I worked at a vision once. uh -huh. was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance This is also a character that seems like he has, like what seems to qualify for a vision uh, I lost interest eventually. yeah you can't depend on a vision like you can your I don't own know body. what does it take like I don't know I need more information about like the whole yeah there you go he won against vision bears I just I need to understand more about like what you need to have to have a vision no he just wanted to beat some fucking ass I did it. No. The only way to hit myself against other fighters mm. and see who was the strongest. Yeah, and he he would have won. Defeat, can you understand your yeah, this guy's cool. I like his attitude. So I'm pleased with today's Good for you, buddy. Here's a little sticker for best feet. try. And he's like, I feel like you're demeaning me now. <laughs> Traveler's just like, hey. Hey, there's one of those butterflies that the traveler barfed up. You have the chance in the future. Uh -huh. Please come and spar with me again. See, you'd think this would be setting up for, you know, fighting fucking people in a tournament that would happen every once in a while. That'd be pretty cool. Do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it going to be Uh, just someone like sneaky and fast if I remember. They'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I think is that they're extremely quick. So don't get I'm always cocky. You can't stop me. All right. Well, on that note, since now we're just going to talk about the fucking other guy we're going to fight, I'm going to end this episode right here. So this has been Gator Snapper Playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Bye.